Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, this week Rockstar Games have been rolling out some epic money making promotions that could easily bag you guys millions every single day if you play them right. So a few days ago I did show you guys how you could make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time from playing Simeon's missions with double money and double RP, which a ton of you guys really seem to like because that method is pretty much an AFK method and will bag you guys a ton of money. I will leave a link down below in the description and yesterday I did cover the Felicia job method which will bag you guys around 500k alone and if you combine the Felicia job method with like an MC business or a bunker you'd easily be making over 1.1 million every single hour so I will leave a link to both of those videos down below in the description however if you guys actually own the facility which came out for doomsday heist then you guys could be grinding out another method which is equally as good as the Felicia job and may even be better for some of you guys me personally I like to grind at the Felicia job because it's just so goddamn easy. But if you guys do like to challenge yourself and you do want to earn a bit more extra, I would definitely go ahead and grind out this method in today's video rather than any other method. And the method I'm talking about is the data breaches heist. This heist is all too often you guys double money and double RP. Now if you guys aren't aware, the final payout for this heist is over 1.3 million. And the best part is it could be launched with two players and you guys have the potential to take a 85% cut, which is a guaranteed over $800,000. And this heist doesn't take longer than an hour to complete. So when you take everything into account, it is hands down by far one of the best money making methods that all of you guys should definitely be making the most of. Now, I am aware that a lot of you guys may not play these heists a lot. You're all different ranks and you're all different levels. Some of you guys own a facility and some of you guys don't. And that's exactly why I'm making this video. I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can run through this heist in the quickest amount of time possible as well as giving you guys a bunch of tips and tricks that will just save you guys a bunch of time in the long run and will practically make you guys invincible to enemy bullets which will just basically make this heist a walk in the park. I guarantee when you guys see the little tricks and tips I use in this video you guys will see some of my crew members end up dying in the video but I never die once using this trick. But not only that like I mentioned some of you guys may not be able to launch this heist because you're actually you don't own a facility so do be sure to leave a comment down below underneath this video with your gamer tag or your psn and say whether or not you've got a facility or you're looking for a facility because if you guys can put together a good little group of you guys you could be grinding this out for a few hours every day easily turning over millions easily so as always if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form all i ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos Videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so before you guys can actually play the data breach heist, you will need to complete three prep missions and three setup missions. Now, all of the prep missions are in relation to all of the setup missions, so they're very easy to keep track of. So I'm not going to spend too much time explaining about how you can complete these missions, but I'll just run over some tips that you guys should definitely note when doing these missions. So the very first prep mission is basically for you guys to go ahead and steal an ambulance containing paramedic equipment. It's very, very very easy, very, very straightforward. So I will be very surprised if any of you guys can't complete this on your very first go. It is worth noting, once you guys approach the ambulance, there will be a few cops you have to take down in order to get the vehicle. But once you guys take those cops down, just simply jump straight in the ambulance and drive it back to the facility. Now it is worth mentioning, all of these prep missions have to be done in free roam sessions and the entire lobby will know that you guys are driving a prep equipment equipment because in actual fact other players can steal this equipment off you and then basically use it in their own mission so another massive tip i'm going to give you guys is to click download in the description i do have a working tutorial showing you guys how you can get an empty public session still working as of today so it probably will be worth getting an empty public session before you go ahead and launch these prep missions however once you guys complete the first prep mission and deliver the ambulance you can now launch the first setup of this heist now it is worth mentioning this setup is going to be split up into two teams but could easily be done with only two players and I'm going to show you guys how you can do so. So the objective 
of Team 1 is to basically collect a dead agent's cachet of data from the morgue and the Team 2 is basically to recover an agent's stolen helicopter which you're going to use at the end to escape from the morgue. So for Team 1, in this case to me, all I have to do is simply go ahead and get inside of the stolen ambulance and drive it over to the morgue. Now once I arrive in the morgue, as you guys can see, you do want to play stealth so don't pull out any guns and don't like bump into any other NPCs or draw attention to yourself. So once you guys make your way inside of the morgue, simply walk past the reception, take a right, take another right, and then you guys should enter the cold storage. From here, you guys have to search the three bodies for the data. Once you've investigated the bodies, your character will realize the bodies don't have the data. Simply go ahead and follow the marker upstairs to where the actual data is. It should be on a laptop. It's very, very easy to go ahead and locate. You might have to fight off a few um, police officers on your way. So what I would suggest is just using a shotgun for close range as you are indoors. So all of these police officers drop with one bullet, two bullets to the head. But it really doesn't matter what gun you use. It could be a shotgun, a pistol or a machine gun. If you guys are really in trouble and your back's up against the wall, simply just do what I did on screen. Pull up your interaction menu, go down to snacks and just be hovering over any snack and every time you get shot, simply tap A on the Xbox or X on the PlayStation and the guy will eat a snack without doing the animation so you can still be in a gun battle replenishing your health as you guys can clearly see on screen just making this mission a walk in the park i guarantee as long as all of you guys use this trick right from the start none of you will be failing this mission so simply make your way over to the laptop and press right on the d-pad to download the data and then once you guys have done that all you have to do from here is exit the morgue and you will have to kill a few police officers on your way out but like i said if you guys are using the snack trick this is very very easy now once you guys make your way outside the mission isn't quite done from here you do have to like lean up against one of these pillars for a little while take out a few cops you can easily just pull out a noob tube and wait for your friend who's team two to bring the salvage over to you so just make sure you slightly clear the way for him to land the helicopter either on the road or in front of the morgue jump in that bitch and then drive straight to the finish line and that is basically the first set of mission done very easy like i explained and you guys will get rewarded with a very very nice 5000 RP for doing so. Now once you guys have done that we're ready to move on to the prep 2 mission. This one is very easy just like prep 1 mission we have to collect an ambulance earlier. This time all we have to do is go ahead and collect a bunch of deluxos from a mansion and as you guys can see as you drive towards the entrance all you have to do is kill a few of these guards right at the front of the door. You'll have to keep on killing these guards as you do progress into the mansion. After killing them go all the way to the garage door and then kill the guards inside the garage garage door and then kill the guards inside the garage door there should be three of them in here in total you can simply go ahead and just use the cars as cover yourself and then from here all you have to do is take all of the cars back to your facility very easy very straightforward basically a driving mission now once we complete that we can move on to the second setup called signal intersects and we're basically going to be using the prep from the second prep so the deluxos all we have to do is basically use the deluxos to get close to multiple target vehicles and then hack them to recover the data packages. I'm pretty sure 90% of you guys have played a contact mission very, very similar to this back in the day. I actually forgot the name of it, but there was a few of the contact missions where you basically had to trail a car behind them, keep the right distance, and you would basically hack the package. So as you guys can see, it's practically just a more advanced version of that. You do have to keep your phone open when you're trailing them, so you can't do that snack trick that I showed you guys earlier. You do have to just move your car left and right and just keep a close distance it's very very easy to do and once you guys have hacked it bang and it's a lot of a missile and blow up the targets there's only four targets in this mission so it should take you guys about two to three minutes per target making this whole setup easily doable in under seven eight minutes now it is worth mentioning if you guys have never used this deluxo before it can float on water and two of these targets will be located in boats so you guys can simply press a on the xbox or x on the playstation to ignite the hover mode and you can simply hover straight over the water go ahead and hack the boats now once you guys have destroyed the boat it will tell you guys to make your way to the airport now you guys will basically have to do the same thing again but this time to a jumbo jet so as you guys can see simply go ahead follow the jumbo jet wait for the hack to be completed and then simply blow it up a very very fun and easy straightforward mission once you guys have delivered the deluxos back 
that is the mission complete and we're ready to move on to the third and final prep mission. Now this third prep mission is equally as easy as the previous two prep missions and in actual fact it's a bit of a mix of the previous two prep missions because all we are going to do is basically infiltrate the tower over at Fort Sankudo, download the location of the Akula, then go ahead and pick up the Akula helicopter and drop it back to the facility. Very straightforward and very basic and like I said it is a free roam mission so you guys are free to use any vehicle that you like. Now another thing I do want to add about this prep mission, when you make your way inside of the tower, you don't actually have to run up all of these stairs, you can just go ahead and take the lift, however there will be a few enemies guarding your cooler so do be prepared when you do approach it, however you can die as many times as you like because it is just a prep mission, jump in your cooler and simply bring it back to your facility. Now we can move on to the final setup of this whole heist. Now before I actually get into how you guys can complete this final setup in the easiest way, I will say if you guys know that you're not really a good player at GTA 5, you barely play the game, then you're probably better off getting more than two players in for this final setup. Out of all of the entire heist, this setup right here is probably the hardest mission out of the lot. It's not hard for me personally, but like I said, I do want to give you guys a heads up because it is considerably more difficult than the previous setup and prep mission. So like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be doing it with only one other player. But if you guys aren't an experienced GTA, GTA 5 player then definitely go ahead and try and get maybe three four of you guys in here although like I said if you guys have been paying attention throughout the video then you'll know that the snack trick works very very well for this um, setup mission so before you actually go ahead and launch the setup make sure you guys do refill on as much snacks and body armor as possible then go ahead and launch it so like I mentioned it is more of a stealthy mission rather than an all-out gun war battle right at the end of the setup you guys will have to do a lot of shooting but for the majority of this mission it is very stealthy so as you guys can see the very first part is for you guys to simply land the Akula on top of the Noose government facility so as you guys can see once you land on top of this building simply make your way around it very slowly avoiding the cameras and the guards so you do want to stay very stealthy as I mentioned pull out any gun that's got like a suppressor on it and simply just pick these guards off one by one you do want to time it with your friend or the other person so like when you see two guards you can both shoot them at the same time just so it doesn't alert the other guard when you shoot one although you can get one player just to do all of the shooting so he can shoot the other guard straight after taking out one of them now once you guys reach this point you will have to take cover and then simply take out the head of security so you guys can get the codes at the entrance now once you guys make your way around to the entrance you simply want to make your way downstairs to the server farm now when you guys are down here you do want to try and kill as many guards as possible when you're inside however the main objective is for you guys to get to the servers and hack them it's a very very easy mini game that you guys have to complete you basically just have to connect the right nodes to each other so as you guys can see you just try the top one with the top one the second one with the second one and when you submit it the correct ones will stay so you just keep on matching them until you find the correct mix now once you guys have hacked all the servers you simply have to make your way back to the way you came in and this part is the slightly difficult part out of this entire setup if you guys do use the snack trick which i showed you guys earlier on the video it should make it a lot more easier these guards do close in heavy and hard so do be sure that you are covering your friend at the same time because like i said if you do die you don't have to do that entire thing again you will get a checkpoint so it isn't the end of the world but you won't get those snacks back that you previously used in your first attempt so like I said, just take your time with this part, eat your snacks at the right time, pick off the guards one by one, and then you guys will make it back onto the roof, back into the Akula, and fly it straight into the finale. And as you guys can see, this is where we are going to be earning that big boy 1.3 million payout. Of course, up to this point, it shouldn't take you more than an hour to reach this finale, and this finale itself only takes between 5 to 10 minutes, so you guys could easily be rinse and repeat in this heist, as many times as you want over this entire weekend just stacking in millions every single time you do it so as i did mention this mission is very straightforward and very easy i guarantee a lot of you guys will be able to do it straight away especially if you do use that snack tactic that i showed you guys earlier on the video and funny enough i did actually have a few random crew members die when they were trying to do this with me because they had no idea about this snack trick and some of them were over level 400 so i was pretty taken back by it however the very first thing you guys want to do is get inside any of your vehicles that you select you can use 
most armoured vehicles in this finale, so a Karuma, a Vigilante, anything you like, you want to make your way over to the IAA base and simply go ahead and take out a few of these enemies. Once you guys have taken out these enemies, you want to make your way into the IAA base. Now this is basically like your facility, so you just want to make your way through the facility, similar to how I showed you guys earlier, pull up your interaction menu of your snacks and just be eating your snacks as you're getting shot so you're never really losing life as you guys can see right here i had the crew member very impatient just running ahead like he thought he was rambo and he got a swift bullet to the face and he died so afterwards i did have to send him a pretty violent message just saying take your time pull up your snacks and what the hell are you doing with your life you're level 400 you should be able to complete this basic heist but i've kind of gotten used to it now every single time i try and record a video that's when everything seems to go wrong however you guys watching this video you should know what you're doing like i said you're going to be finding other players in the comment section so there should be no reason for any of you to die during this mission but i've kind of gotten used to it now every single time i try and record a video that's when everything seems to go wrong however you guys watching this video you should know what you're doing like i said you're going to be finding other players in the comment section so there should be no reason for any of you to die during this mission now once you guys have killed the hackers inside the iaa base it will tell you to go to the war room from here all you have to do is mount a turret and simply just spray down every single vehicle surrounding the base right now so as you guys can see just hold down the r trigger shoot the helis the insurgents the trucks every single thing that you can see and you guys should notice after about a minute or two of shooting down everything the mission will complete you'll get great for cutscene and then bang 1.3 million split between two people just equals a ton of money for not a lot of work as you guys can see i was able to make just under 1.4 million and my friend was able to make just over 200k for such an easy and straightforward method with payouts like that you really have no reason to complain you can just take it in turns like i said or just do a 50 50 split works best for whatever you guys want to do do be sure to definitely leave a comment down below with your gamer tag or your psn find a group of players to be grinding at this method over the weekend because like i said 1.6 million for like an hour's worth of work not even combining this with other methods like selling a bunker or an mc business which would easily take your profit over the 2 million an hour you guys like i said will all be stacking serious amounts of money very very easily so as always if this video has helped you guys out in any way shape or form which i'm pretty sure it will do all i ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace